Hello everybody, this is Refresh and I am here to bring you a battle between the 2019 Challenger decks and the Defeated God Challenge deck from Journey into Nyx. We'll be playing two games against Xenagos, the first game being on normal mode with three Rollicking Throngs and we'll, then we'll be back for hard mode and we'll be using three hero cards for these decks. The first one is the Harvester, it says tap, draw a card, then discard a card. The Explorer, which says you may play an additional land on each of your turns. And the Vanquisher, which says your starting hand size is increased by one, your maximum hand size is increased by one. Since I only have one copy of each of these cards, we're going to apply these three cards to all four decks. On the left we have Lightning Aggro, on the right we have Arcane Tempo, in the top right we have Deadly Discovery, and in the top left we have United Assault. We'll get started by drawing eight cards apiece. Lightning Aggro draws a Gitu Lava Runner, Lava Coil, Mountain, Gitu Lava Runner, Mountain, Experimental Frenzy, Mountain, and Mountain. It's not a great hand, but I think we will still keep it. Arcane Tempo draws Island, Mountain, Oct, Mountain, Dive Down, Sulfur Falls, Opt, and Opt. It's not great, but I guess we can just keep opting forever, so we'll keep this hand. Deadly Discovery draws The Eldest Reborn, Memorial to Folly, Swamp, Cast Down, Secret Squire, Jade Light Ranger, Wild Growth Walker, and Forest. I think this is fine. I'd like another land, but hopefully we can explore into it. United Assault draws History of Venalia, Dauntless Bodyguard, Legion's Landing Plains, Pride of Conqueror, Adato Vanguard, Sky Marcher Aspirin, and Sky Marcher Aspirin. One lander is a no keep, so we'll send this back. Now we draw a Dauntless Bodyguard, Planes, Sky Marcher, Aspirant, Planes, 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 Healer's Hawk, and Planes. This is just too many lands this time, and so we're actually going to ship this back and go down to 7. We took our free mulligan because this is multiplayer. Now United Assault draws History of Benalia, Planes, Planes, Legion's Landing, Planes, Conclave, Tribunal, Hunted Witness, and Dauntless Bodyguard. I think this is a better hand, so we will keep this, and we will pitch the Conclave Tribunal. Turn 1 will draw, Lightning Aggro draws a Fanatical Firebrand, Arcane Tempo draws a Lava Coil, Deadly Discovery draws a Forest, United Assault draws a Healer's Hawk, Lightning Aggro will play two Mountains, we'll tap them both, and then we'll cast Lava Coil, targeting one of the Rollicking Throngs. It deals 4 damage to target creature. If it would die this turn, exile it. We'll exile the Rollicking Throng. Arcane Tempo will play a Mountain and a Sulphur Falls. The Sulphur Falls would normally enter tapped, but we control a Mountain, so it doesn't. We'll tap both, and then cast a Lava Coil, targeting one of the Rollicking Throngs. The Rollicking Throng will be exiled. Deadly Discovery will play a Swamp and Forest. We'll tap both, and then we'll play the Wild Growth Walker. It's a 1-3 Elemental. Whenever creature you control explores, put a plus one, plus one counter on Wild Growth Walker, and you gain three life. United Assault will play two planes. We'll tap both of the planes to play Allegiance Landing. It's an enchantment. It says when it enters the battlefield, create a 1-1 white vampire creature token with lifelink. Here's our token. When you attack with three or more creatures, transform Legion's Landing. With the second mana, we will play a Hunted Witness. It is a 1-1 human. When Hunted Witness dies, create a 1-1 white soldier creature token with lifelink. Pass to Xenagos. Xenagos will cast the top two cards. By the way, in case Xenagos is able to kill us in the first turn, which sometimes Xenagos is able to do because of the combination of cards that he can draw, we will choose the mulligan whichever card will kill us and then continue to draw again. Because it's no fun to lose in the first turn. Xenagos will play Ferris Band Revelers. It is a 4-4 Centaur Reveler, and when it leaves the battlefield, each player draws a card. We'll also cast Xenagos to Scorn. Xenagos Ascended gains Trample until end of turn and attacks this turn if able. Xenagos will attack. There's not much we can do about that, so we're going to take 6 and go down to 14. At the end of the turn, we'll use the Harvester. Lightning Aggro draws a Mountain, and we will discard the Mountain. Arcane Tempo draws a Lava Coil. We will discard the Dive Down. Deadly Discovery draws a Wild Growth Walker. We will discard the Eldest Reborn. United Assault draws a Plains. We'll discard the Healer's Hawk. We'll untap. We'll draw. Lightning Aggro draws a Mountain. Arcane Tempo draws a Crackling Brick. Deadly Discovery draws a Swamp. United Assault draws a Plains. Lightning Aggro will play both Mountains. We'll spend four mana. And we'll cast Experimental Frenzy. It is a enchantment. It says you may look at the top card of your library anytime. You may play the top card of your library. You can't play cards from your hand and 
for three and a red destroy experimental frenzy. We'll just play with it exposed so that we can always pay attention to what's going on. It's a runaway steamkin. Arcane Tempo will spend both of their mana to cast Lava Quill, targeting the Ferris Band Revelers. It gets exiled, and we will each draw a card. Arcane Tempo draws a Shock. Deadly Discovery draws Find Finality. United Assault draws a Planes. United Assault will play both Planes. Arcane Tempo will play an Island and a Mountain. Lightning Aggro draws the Runaway Steamkin. Deadly Discovery will play the Forest and the Swamp. We'll tap the Forest and the Swamp to play a Wild Growth Walker. And then we'll tap the Forest and the Swamp to play a Seeker Squire. This is a 1-2 Human Scout. When it enters the battlefield, it explores. We'll explore. We will draw the Forest into our hand. This will cause the both Wild Growth Walkers to trigger. We'll gain 2 plus 1 plus 1 counters each and gain 6 total life to go back up to 20. United Assault will tap out, casting first the History of Benalia. It's a enchantment saga and for its first two turns it will create a 2-2 white knight token with vigilance and then the final turn knight you control will gain plus 2 plus 1 until end of turn. We'll put a counter on it and we'll create a white knight creature token with vigilance. And then we'll also play the Dauntless Bodyguard. When it enters the battlefield, you choose another creature you control. We'll choose the Knight. Sacrifice Dauntless Bodyguard. The chosen creature gains indestructible end of, until end of turn. It's a 2-1 Human Knight. Then we'll attack the last Rollicking Throng with the Hunted Witness and the Wild Growth Walker. The Rollicking Throng will die. The Hunted Witness will die. We'll get a 1-1 one, one White Soldier Creature token with Lifelink. And then we'll pass a turn to Xenagos. Xenagos will untap. We'll cast the top two cards. The first one is Ferris Band Revelers. We've seen that before. The second one is Dance of Flame. Whenever a Reveler attacks, Dance of Flame deals one damage to each player. And then we'll end the turn by using the Harvester. We'll draw the Mountain, and then we will discard the Fanatical Firebrand. Arcane Temple will draw an Island, and we will discard an Opt. We'll also cast an Opt. We'll scry taking the Electromancer and drawing it. Deadly Discovery will draw a Ravenous Chupacabra and we will discard the Find Finality. United Assault will draw a Plains and discard the Plains. We'll untap. We'll draw. Lightning Aggro draws the Fanatical Firebrand. Arcane Tempo draws an Izzet Guildgate. Deadly Discovery draws a Kulgari Guildgate. United Assault draws the Plains. Lightning Aggro will play the Mountain off the top of the deck. I think we have this. The History of Benalia should trigger, getting us another Knight. We will attack into the Ferris Band Revelers with the White Soldier token and the Vampire with Lifelink. We'll hit the Ferris Band Revelers for two, losing both of the tokens and gaining two life to go up to 22. Arcane Tempo will tap the Mountain to cast Shock to finish off the Ferris Band Revelers. The Revelers dies. Each player draws a card. Lightning Aggro draws a Goblin Chain Whirler. Arcane Tempo draws the Mirari Conjecture. Deadly Discovery draws Golgari Fine Broker. United Assault draws a Plains. And then we'll end this pretty easily. Now that Xangos is vulnerable by tapping all of this mana here and playing Ravenous Chupacabra, it is a 2 2 Beast Horror. When Ravenous Chupacabra enters the battlefield, destroy a target creature on opponent controls. We'll target Xenagos. Xenagos dies, and the challenge decks win. We'll be right back with hard mode. All right, this is hard mode. We have four rollicking throngs now for Xenagos, and we'll get started by drawing eight cards apiece. Lightning Aggro draws Viachino Pyromancer, Banefire, Fanatical Firebrand, Mountain, Mountain, Lightning Strike, Lava Coil, and Geek 2 Lava Runner. This isn't ideal, but we can actually cast everything, so we'll actually keep this hand. Arcane Tempo draws Mountain, Mirai Conjecture, Sulphur Falls, Tartar Course, Is It Guildgate, Lava Coil, Radical Idea, and Island. I think that this is a keepable hand. Deadly Discovery draws Lanowar Elves, Cast Down, Lanowar Elves, Swamp, Merfolk, Branch Walker, District Guide, Forest, and Swamp. I think this is a keepable hand. United Assault draws History of Benalia, Plains, Conclave Tribunal, Plains, Plains, Dominus Bodyguard, Plains, and Plains. I think there's too many lands and not enough action, so we're going to send this one back. United Assault draws Plains, Dominus Bodyguard, Adanto Vanguard, Plains, Sky Marcher Aspirant, Adanto Vanguard, Leonin Vanguard, and Benelish Marshal. I think this is a better hand, even though we're really short on lands. So we will keep this because this is multiplayer. We'll treat it as the free mulligan. Turn one, Lightning Aggro will draw a mountain. We'll play two mountains. Arcane Temple will draw a beacon bolt. We'll play a Sulphur Falls and an island. 
Deadly Discovery will play a forest and a swamp. We'll tap the forest and play a Llanowar Elf. It's a 1-1 Elf Druid. You can tap it to add a green. United Assault will play both planes. We'll tap both planes. We'll play the Adanto Vanguard. It's a 1-1 Vampire Soldier. As long as Adanto Vanguard is attacking, it gets a plus 2 plus 0. You can pay 4 life and it gains Indestructible until end of turn. Lightning Aggro will spend 2 mana and cast Lightning Bolt, targeting one of the Royal King Throngs to kill it. Royal King Throng dies. Arcane Tempo spends 2 mana to cast Lava Coil, doing the same. Royal King Throng is exiled. We'll pass the Zendigos, we'll cast the top two cards. The first one is Dance of Panic. As long as there are five or more Revelers on the battlefield, all Revelers have haste and attack each turn if able. And then we also have an Ecstatic Piper. It's a 2-2 Satyr Reveler. Whenever it enters the battlefield, Zendigos Ascended attacks his turn if able. Zendigos Ascended is able, so he'll attack. We'll take all six damage and go to 14. We'll use the Harvester at the end of the turn. Lightning Aggro draws a Mountain. We will discard the Banefire. Arcane Tempo draws Blink of an Eye. We will discard the Marari Conjecture. Deadly Discovery draws Ravenous Chupacabra. We will discard the Merfolk Branch Walker. United Assault draws a Sky Marcher Aspirant. We will discard one of the Sky Marcher Aspirants. We'll untap. We'll draw. Lightning Aggro draws a Wizard's Lightning. Arcane Tempo draws a Lava Coil. Deadly Discovery draws a District Guide. United Assault draws a Leon and Vanguard. United Assault needs more lamps right away, so we're going to loot right now. Lightning Aggro draws a Goblin Chain Whirler. We'll discard the Fanatical Firebrand. Arcane Tempo draws an Opt. We'll discard the Battle Idea. Deadly Discovery draws a Golgari Guildgate. We'll discard the Second District Guard. United Assault draws a Plains. We'll discard the Sky Marcher Aspirant. Lightning Aggro will play both Mountains. Lightning Aggro will tap 2 and play the Viachino Pyromancer. It is a 2-1 Viachino Wizard. When it enters the battlefield, it deals 2 damage to target player or Planeswalker. We'll target Xenagos the player and then redirect it towards the Ecstatic Piper. Now kill the Ecstatic Piper. When it leaves the battlefield, each player gains 2 life. We have 4 players will gain 8 life and that will take us up to 22. Then Lightning Aggro will spend 1 mana to cast the Gitu Log Runner. The so one two human wizard, as long as there are two or more instant or sorcery cards in your graveyard, it gets plus one plus zero and has haste. There are, so it gets plus one plus zero and it has haste. Arcane Tempo will play the Is It Guildgate Tapped and play a mountain. Deadly Discovery will play the Swamp and the Golgari Guildgate Tapped. We'll tap the Lana War Elf to cast another Lana War Elf. We'll tap these three to cast another district guide. It is a 2-2 Elf Scout. When it enters the battlefield, you may search the library for a basic land card or a gate card. Reveal it to put it into your hand and then shuffle your library. We'll go ahead and grab a forest. Put it into our hand. We'll shuffle. United Assault. We'll play the plans. We'll tap all three. We'll play the Benelish Marshal. It is a 3-3 Human Knight. Other creatures you control get plus one, plus one. That makes the Vanguard a 2-2. We'll go to attacks, and we will attack one of the Rollicking Throngs with an Adapter Vanguard, which becomes a 4-2. That kills the Rollicking Throng. Lightning Aggro will also spend 1 mana to cast the Wizard's Lightning. It says it costs 2 less to cast if you control a Wizard, we control 2. And it deals 3 damage to any target. That will kill the other Rollicking Throng. And then I think we can finish Xenagos off here. We'll spend 2 mana to cast Blink of an Eye. It is an instant, and has Kicker 1 blue. Return target Lamland permanent to its owner's hand. If this spell was kicked, draw a card. We will return Xenagos to its owner's hand, removing it from the battlefield, and it has no revelers, so its second line of text, which prevents it from being removed from the battlefield, works, and so Xenagos is defeated, and the 29 challenge decks defeat a god. That was surprisingly easy for these decks. I think they have the right mix of removal to make the defeat god challenge deck surprisingly easy. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button and let me know what your thoughts were in the comments below. If you'd like to see more of these videos, you can hit subscribe. Thanks for watching. This was a refresh and I will see you next time.